How often does your PC grind to a halt when you try to open a simple file? How many times do you see weird pop-ups jump out of every corner even when you're not trying to browse? And how fast does this black window blink out of existence after jump scaring you out of nowhere? Depending on your answers, you have to consider Googling how to remove virus from my computer. Or you can just keep watching the video because I'm gonna explain exactly what threats might be lurking in your device, how to confirm they are, and what to do to get them out. So let's start with the basics. What are viruses and how do they spread? Viruses are a common term for malware, malicious software infamous for its ability to bury itself into a system, replicate, manipulate files and programs, and most importantly, collect and exfiltrate user data. There are many different ways in which viruses can end up on your device. You could have downloaded an infected file through a random link online, received a phishing email with an infected file, or even just received malware through a USB-C stick or third-party storage device from your friend. Malware is often unnoticeable enough to slip between the cracks if you're not using specialized software to detect it. Antiviruses are just such a specialized software, and I prepared the best antivirus deals in the description below, so definitely check those out ASAP. Now, if you've got a computer virus, symptoms can be pretty easy to spot. One of the signs your computer is infected is uncharacteristically slow performance, lags, or frequent crashing. So if you were wondering why is my computer slow, malware could be the reason. Any screen flickering, distorted visuals, or weird visual artifacts can also be a sign of infection. Though you'll want to make sure your hardware is working properly first, since issues can also be caused by a faulty RAM or graphics processor as well. While the assault of ads and pop-ups is sadly not a rarity these days, that only applies to your browser. If you're starting to see ads where they shouldn't be, that very well could be a sign of malware too. If your device is portable, like a laptop, tablet, or phone, any excessive battery drain or overheating is also suspicious, especially if the device is just lying there but could still heat the entire household. And certainly, if you notice apps appearing by themselves, some processes running without your input, or a console window, like this one popping up by itself, that's not normal either. Sometimes you might even realize that all this time your device's native antivirus protection has actually been disabled and its warnings muted. It's rare that you see all these things at once, but even one of these signs is reason enough to get strong antivirus protection. When it comes to antivirus protection, I recommend Total AV. It's one of the best antivirus for PC providers that's both effective and straightforward enough even for complete beginners to use. You can get Total AV through this QR code or check the link in the description for other reputable antivirus options. So let's say you use an antivirus like Total AV and want to know how to tell if PC has a virus, and more importantly, how to remove a virus from PC. First of all, run the antivirus app. Don't worry if it updates before launch, antiviruses have to update frequently to stay in touch with the latest types of threats. Secondly, pick the scan type you want to use for detecting malware. If you want the device's entire storage scoured with a fine-tooth comb, full scan is the way to go. It's slower, but will check the entire system. If you're already running daily scans, a quick scan can check the most susceptible or vulnerable places as a preventative measure. And custom scan is up to you to customize yourself. So if you're a beginner, you can skip this one. At the end of the scan, if your antivirus found anything worth getting rid of, you'll see it in a neat window like this one. Now, there are multiple things you can do. You can simply quarantine or delete the infected files to get rid of them. This is usually the best course of action. Or if you want the antivirus to automatically handle all threats, there are some that indeed do that. Bitdefender is a good example. After the cleanup, I recommend restarting your PC and running another scan, even just a quick one, to guarantee no malware has re-emerged. If they have, rinse and repeat. What I just described is malware removal for beginners, but even then, those are only reactive steps. They'll help if your device is already infected. But the best way to secure yourself is to ensure that no malware sticks in the first place. To do that, I recommend installing a reputable antivirus, like the ones I've listed in the description, and enabling real-time protection. This feature monitors your device 24-7, reliably detecting any threats trying to attack your device. That said, it's still best to try and stay safe and avoid suspicious downloads, email attachments, and physical file transfers to begin with. You should also try to keep your software up to date at all times to ensure no vulnerabilities are present. 
So that's it. If you want to secure your device, having a reputable antivirus for protection is going to be the best option. However, you should still try to avoid malicious files, keep your protection apps up to date, and remember that the best antivirus deals are in the description below. Thanks for watching and stay safe.